Hello and welcome to episode two of the Lockdown Cupboard to Cocktail Challenge. Second cocktail I'm going to make is a twist on an old favourite. It's based on the booze collection and the random ingredients in the fridge and the cupboards during this lockdown period of my old mate Rebecca Gray, which she shared with me and I've come up with these ideas. So this cocktail is called the Latchme Margarita, uh, after another mutual friend of Rebecca's and mine, Latchme Atwa. This drink is Mexico meets India and takes advantage of Rebecca's really extensive, rather grown up spice collection that she uses for cooking. Now, in her drinks collection, Rebecca has got some tequila and she's got some Quattro. Now, if you've got somewhere some mezcal from your travels or the odd bottle of cachaça, that works equally well, but I'm going to go with, to match Rebecca, some Jose Cuervo tequila, tequila and some Contro. Now, instead of the Contro, it's triple sec, or oh, I really, really love it with Grand Marnier or this uh, Mandarin Napoleon. Hardly find anywhere. But let's go with what Rebecca's got, tequila and Contro. Now, for this, you will also need uh, some fresh lemons or limes. You know, it's, it should be limes, but frankly, lemons work perfectly just as well. And if you're running short on fresh fruit, because we're in lockdown, fruit juice, absolutely fine. Again, if you haven't got a margarita glass, I can't find mine. Go with any old glass that you think suitable. Even a teacup works. Spirit of the Blitz. So, first off, to give this the Indian sense, we need some spices, so I've taken some coarse sea salt, some black peppercorns, uh, and from my spice cupboard, which is frankly pretty limited, I've gone for a ground mixed spice, and not very Indian, but nice and spicy, some smoked paprika. Warm, smoky, and sweet, even. Uh, Rebecca, in contrast, as a proper grown-up cook, has got cumin seeds, fennel seeds, and, and uh, cardamom that she's gonna grind in with her salt and pepper. So, pestle and mortar, whatever you've got to do the grinding. Gives you oh, such a fragrant smell about it. Decant that onto a saucer or a small plate. You're only gonna use a little bit of this, but save it for your cooking later. Spread it round till it's about the uh, size of the rim of your glass that you're going to use. Uh, I couldn't find margarita glasses, so could have gone with a martini glass, could have gone with this nice fancy coupe I've got, but instead I'm going with a Marie Antoinette coupe. So, first off, get yourself a little bit of lime or lemon, fold it over onto the rim, spin the glass round so all the rim gets wet with fruit juice, inside and out, dip it into, turn it round over, roll it around the outside so you get a nice thick coating, this lovely spicy smell, leave that on the side to dry, save that in a little jar for your cooking in the week. Next, the fruit juice, using Per person, scale up as you need to, with one whole lemon or one and a half to two limes per glass. There's a lot of booze in this and not a lot of dilution. So you really want to get the most juice you can out of your lemon or limes. Really squeeze that. Again, some nice, very nice therapeutic tactile effort for during lockdown. Whilst I'm doing this, let me remind you, if you'd like to take part yourself in the Lockdown Cupboard to Cocktail Challenge, direct message me on Facebook or even post something publicly. I want photographs of your booze collection, stuff you picked up from the travels, whatever you got in the cupboards. Plus I want to see pictures of your, your ingredients in the cupboard. What have you got in your fridge? Dairy or dairy equivalent, so you know, it could be a tin of condensed milk, tin of coconut cream. I want to know about nuts, seeds, pulses. I want to know about fruit, not just fresh, but it could be dried or tinned. Even vegetables, salad vegetables. You might have seen in the last episode, we use cucumber in a long summer cooler. Even sweet peppers, 
little cherry tomatoes work perfectly well. Any sweets you've got, fudge, boil sweets, pack of polos, those work. Pickles, olives, capers, anything like that. Want to know about your mixers, those could be still, those could be fruit cordials and squashes, they could be fruit juices, they could be sodas, coke, ginger beer, whatever you've got. There's the lime, there's the lemon fully squeezed. Next, take yourself a mixing glass, which as you see I've half filled with ice. Juice of a full lemon. You want as much out of that as you can, because other than that, it's just all booze and a little bit of ice dilution. This is a single drink, it's normally a good stiff one, so double measure, I would suggest. Go with your taster. Into this, I'm going to have about half or slightly over half of the double measure with tequila. It's normally two to one tequila to Cointreau or triple sec. I'm going to top that measure up with triple sec. Now, in Rebecca's case, seeing as she's actually got cardamom pods, I would suggest that she puts that in as well. I haven't got cardamom pods because I'm not a grown up cook. But I am a vodka obsessive. So here is the latest flavour of Absolute I've got. Cardamom flavoured Absolute Vodka. So just a tiny little oh, hint of India into the mix as well. Now at this stage, you can shake it if you've got a cocktail shaker. If you haven't got a cocktail shaker, this is a lockdown period and not everyone's obsessive like me. Spoon works just as well. The time I, I took making this, I've got the ice out beforehand, so it began to melt a little bit anyway. What you're doing is mixing it, breaking down the ice a little bit, diluting it with a little bit of water. Exactly what shaking does. And then strain into your coupe glass. Or margarita glass if you've got a specialty one of those or your teacup. It's dirty and that's good. So that is the Lakshmi Margarita. India meets Mexico. Oh, you cannot get at the booze. You cannot get at the Mexican without going through the Indian rim. Mm. And the cardamom I can taste from the cardamom vodka, or you would taste from the uh, the cardamom pod that in Rebecca's case she's putting in directly. Even maybe a little sprinkle of your uh, salt and pepper and spice mix over the top. Really messy it up, dirty it up. Drink responsibly, enjoy, stay safe in these difficult times, and join me again next time.